Hello guys, welcome back to Custom Gamer. Today we're going to be having a look at how to get zombies to kind of act dead and then get up and attack the player when he gets close. Uh, this was a question asked to me by Captain Black One today, so I just thought I'd make a quick video to show how it's done. So let's have a look, shall we? Okay, so we've got our NPC zombie here. You want to give him a name? Ours is called uh, Zombie Zero One. And uh, you can see here, if you go onto the model page, you can have a look through all the different animations that he has and uh, preview them in the editor. So we want to find an animation of him lying on the floor. So we've got here slump A. There's also a slump B that you can use as well, where he's kind of facing forwards. So you can kind of use this to uh, place the model properly in the world to make him look like he's leaning against the wall or, you know, anything like that. But it's worth noting that that won't actually start the model out in, with that animation. You need to use a scripted underscore sequence here. As you can see we've given it a name as well, Zombie01 script, and a target NPC. So you want to put Zombie1 in there. And now this is the important part, the pre-action idle animation, you want to set that to the slump animation. So that means that when the zombies spawn into the world, it will play this animation, which is just a slump against the wall animation. And then the action animation, you want to change this to the the animation of the zombie getting up. So if you look back on the zombie here, we can have a look at the different animations in this slump rise underscore A, which is what we want. That transitions from slump A into slump rise A, so that looks perfect for what we want. So you can put that in there, slump rise underscore A. Now we can have a look at some of the other things you'll need. some other important things to do. So that's the basic animation setup that we want. Now in the flags here you want start on spawn, tick that. That starts the zombie off playing his uh, idle slump animation. If you don't tick that, tick this and the script basically won't work. And you want to override the AI because you don't want the zombie to aggro the player when he sees him. When he's playing the idle animation you want to trigger it yourself. And uh, we've got some other stuff here with the, the gags. Uh, I'll explain this because when I tested it out before, the zombie would make um, kind of noises even when he was just sat idle on the floor, which I didn't really want. So I set up I set up a logic underscore auto that triggered when the map spawned to target the zombie with gag enable. And then you'll see here on the scripted sequence, we've got on end sequence, target the zombie and gag disable. And that fixed the problem. So zombie was completely silent when lying on the floor and then when he was activated he would start making noises and to trigger it all we've got um, a brush trigger here trigger underscore once uh, nothing special here just set it to clients so the player can uh, trigger it then in the outputs on trigger zombie zero one script which is our scripted underscore sequence and the target input is begin sequence so basically when the when the player walks inside that box, the zombie it will trigger the zombie to get up and attack the player. So in game it looks something like this. As you can see, he's just completely ignoring the player right now. And then when we walk into the trigger he gets up and starts attacking. So that's how you do that. Uh this this is kind of a general purpose kind of script, so it'll work for all enemies, um with any kinds of animation. So you can you can create all kinds of behaviours with this, not just for zombies, but you know, there's all kinds of like combine and you know zombie different animations you can play to get them to do different behaviours. So uh, I hope that answered your question, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.